Welcome back on your Monday, whether you're new to the valley or not. I'm sure you've heard of a dust devil. It's a crazy weather phenomenon that happens right here in Arizona. But how do they happen and what are they capable of? This morning, our weather expert Crystal Henderson is here to answer our dust devil questions. Whoa, it's like a scene straight out of Looney Tunes. But when the Tasmanian devil isn't to blame, what twirls up these dust devils in our desert? Cue the sunshine. We need intense sunshine to strike the ground and different colored surfaces, such as asphalt and dirt. They heat up differently. The ground gets hotter faster than the air above it. Hotter air is less dense and will want to rise. That upward rush of air may start to rotate. And as it gets stretched upward, its spin speeds up. As the twirling air is on the move across the landscape, it snatches up dust and debris along the way. Stronger dust devils have even been known to toss around trampolines. Even though they're not tornadoes, they can still be destructive. Dust devils can flare up any time of year in Arizona, but you typically have the most dust devil sightings in May and June in the middle of the day. That's when the sunshine is strongest. We need warmer weather and lighter winds too. You may think dust devils are only in the desert, but they've also been known to develop in the forests of the Mugion Rim. Dust devil diameters range from 10 to 300 feet wide with an average height of 500 to 1,000 feet tall. Winds inside whip up to around 45 miles an hour, but can spike at speeds greater than 60 miles an hour in larger dust devils. Like the cartoon character, these spin-ups can have a short temper and last just a few minutes or could carry on for as much as an hour. And a final fun fact, beyond our planet, dust devils have even been found on Mars.